ericmother.com before they open here we have about three minutes before the market open and we are looking down on the futures actually i think with fair value the market is called down to open about 600 points now i don't know that the market is going to be down that much but what i want to discuss here is to be very careful whenever you see the vix at high levels because what this means is that the level of difficulty in day trading or trading the small time frame becomes very difficult now i know at first look we look at the vix as being an indicator of bearish or bullish sentiment but i think it's more what i would call a measure of difficulty what i mean by that is an elevated visc an elevated vix that is trading above the teens and right now it's called to open you know in the higher 40s if not 50s what that means is that the trading is very sensitive very sensitive to small time frames now what i mean by that is because yesterday we already had the vix trading in the 30s you might have noticed that there was a line we had been watching on the hourly rsi where we came and tagged the line so this top side resistance line right here now this might not seem like a big deal but once the market hit that line which was the top side resistance line what happened was we saw the dow shade 1500 points and the reason well it's not the reason but that is consistent with an elevated vix when the vix is high every tiny movement on the small time frames dictates a big change so right now before they open what i see is there's a possibility that if the market continues to confirm this resistance line on the hourly here it might call for another down day and also i need to qualify that so let me zoom into this time period here so we can see before they open here we have about 30 30 seconds or so whoops right market's about to open but what i want to show you is there's two scenarios and that's why when the vix is elevated you gotta be very careful because making mistakes is very easy timing mistakes are a problem and that's why i think the vix is a measure of difficulty right now i am seeing pre-market we have a triple top so the more this is confirmed by the market, the more we can expect a sharp move. There you go. There is an open. You can expect a sharp move lower, right, based on that resistance. Now, here's where it gets tricky. What if the market decides, because the VIX is elevated, if the market can clear this topside resistance line, you can bet that the market is going to be up hundreds of points because an elevated vix is just that it's pretty much suggesting to expect big turns and it is also telling us that we need to pay attention to the smaller time frames because the smaller time frames are the ones that dictate movement when the vix is high and when I mean by a high VIX, I mean when the VIX is trading north of, let's say, 14 points. And right now, the VIX is trading in the 40s, which means even the five-minute charts are controlling. So, what we can see here is, right now, we got topside hourly resistance. It's very well defined, which means... As long as the market is trading below this line, we can expect a substantial down day. And yet, as we've already established, we have to respect a high VIX. A high VIX, in my opinion, is a measure of difficulty in timing because if the market clears that topside resistance line, watch out, the market is going to move hundreds of points off the levels if the market clears this line 
So it's not a market you want to play around with if you don't know what you're doing. Again, usually when the, when the VIX is trading, you know, let's say at 10 points, let me, so when the VIX is trading, let's say 10 points, it means that markets are slow, markets are stable, pretty much is a environment for bullish sentiment. But with a strong VIX trading in the 40s, any type of sensitive resistance, any type of breakout in the small time frames of the hourly, 30 minute, 15 minute, minute charts, any type of technical signal that you get is going to be very powerful. And here what I'm saying is we have to be careful. We've had a strong couple of days. In fact, yesterday the Dow was down at the lows 1500 points right we are opening lower by about 600 points the moral here of the story is you got to be very sensitive because the moment we clear this line and break out above the RSI top side on the hourly you can bet your bottom dollar because of an elevated VIX that we are gonna see a multi hundred point gain and I'm saying hundreds and hundreds of points off the current lows and the reason why we have to be very careful is at the same time if the market goes on to confirm resistance on this top side if it breaks back with uniform activity back below that line again because of an elevated VIX that would suggest to expect hundreds of hundreds of points to the downside why do i say hundreds and hundreds of points to the downside simple math so right now we are trading with the markets trading the dow is trading at 24000 right so a 4% drop like we saw yesterday is going to be in the hundreds of points if not thousands right a 5% down day so really it's, it's simple math pretty much so when the dow is trading at 26000 if you drop by 4% so let's multiply by uh, 0 0.4 of course you get a 1000 point drop so really not rocket science when the dow is trading under let's call it when I started trading, the Dow was trading under 10,000. So let's say 9,000. At that particular point, a 4% down day was going to be 360 points. <laughs> so of course you expect a big drop. The Dow is trading in the 20,000 level. All right. So the point should, the point drop should not be an issue. The issue is the percentage. All right. Let me end the video there. I think of put my point across and I wanted to discuss the VIX when the VIX is elevated it is not a measure of bearishness in my opinion even though it does dictate that type of a tone but generally in my opinion the VIX is a measure of difficulty timing difficulty especially in the small time frame it's not a place you want to play games and so let me conclude here one more time that if the VIX or if the markets can clear short term hourly resistance as they are doing right now you can expect to see a multi hundred point rally and right now we are seeing the fruit of that right here and if you consider where we've come off the lows which was about 600 points in about seven minutes, the market is, has rallied by 500, 600 points. Why? Yes. So the market, the Dow is up since we started talking almost 500, 600 points in seven minutes. Why? Remember we talked about an elevated VIX means the level of difficulty is elevated. And any tiny 
break out any tiny resistance on the small time frame dictates major major change and that was pretty much the essence of this video you gotta be more sensitive to the smaller time frames when the VIX is trading above 15 or so or is trading in the mid teens and higher Before I conclude, I want to take a look at the actual real-time charts here as the market is trying to turn positive. This is a complex science because if you take a look at the weekly for the S&P 500, we can attribute the drop this week so far because we dropped below RSI 69.1 on the weekly. Right. Now the question is, are we going to drop below 50? Because the more the RSI is below 50, expect a close towards the lows of the week. Right? So that's another thing to consider in this complex dance. Take a look at the S&P 500 daily. The trap here or the trick is whether it stays below 30.9 or whether it recovers back above 30.9. If it can recover back above 30.9, then it stops the slide. But if it cannot move above 30.9 on the daily, then it still is going to experience downside pressure. And you can see the Dow has successfully rallied 500 points because of the hourly chart breakout I was discussing at the open. And that is a consequence of a sharp and strong VIX. Now, we take a look at the hourly chart for the Dow. Excuse me, for the S&P 500. And on the hourly, as like I said, it's a very complex dance. The RSI on the hourly is below 30.9. As long as the hourly is below 30.9, the market even coming off the lows here. Let me update this chart. Because everything is moving pretty fast. You can see the market is just now turning positive for the S&P 500. But take a look at the RSI. RSI is below 30.9 on the hourly. Which tells me that even as the market turns positive here. It's not going to be the strongest move ever. Why? Because you cannot move higher when your RSI is below 30.9 on the hourly. So that is a problem for the market. As long as S&P is below 30.9, the market net-net is still pointing down. The reason is, if you take a look at when the market was bullish, and the opposite of 30.9, The opposite of 30.9, of course, is 69.1. And you can see that the market stayed pretty much bullish, even though there were down hours here. But the net effect was that the market was bullish as long as S&P 500 was above 30.9. So that's why I'm saying, irrespective of what we look at, we are seeing on our screens, S&P 500 remains choppy and down as long as it is trading below 30.9 if we take a look at the five minute window remember because the VIX is elevated now the smaller time frames are more controlling take a look at this line here on the five minute now believe it or not on the five minute time frame five minute is a small time frame this resistance right here, which corresponds with that point right there, was good for a 1500 point drop on the Dow. And then we can see another resistance intraday there. So we know that in the small time frame, the market is not going to be moving higher substantially until it can muscle its way above the five minute resistance line we also know that if the market was to come back to this five minute line 
hit that line and show resistance that we are going to see another multi hundred point drop on the Dow. So again let me conclude here with a simple observation. It's a simple yet powerful observation. You have to be very careful not try to be a hero when the VIX is trading above 15 or 14. When the VIX is trading above the teens, the trading difficulty becomes elevated because the market responds to very tiny time frames and it is hard to understand the science and the complexity of all these time frames that are fighting for supremacy. So be careful out there. The best thing to do is to be very nimble, if possible, just to be on the sidelines. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah.